Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. The next part, the second part in the planetary gear series. So, in order to make those gears running in the DMU kinematic workbench, we will need roll curve joints. And for these roll curve joints, we will need, of course, curves. So, I could put these curves into those parts or I could create additional parts which contain only those curves. Both will work, so maybe I will do a mix, sort of, okay? But at first I will need sort of a master part which contains just one plane. So let's create a new part in that one. Go for yes, so it's put onto the origin of the assembly and I want to fix that empty part. Let's give it a different name. So let's go for maybe master. Where are the properties? There, here they are. And I want to call this one master. Let's go into this part and create a plane which has an offset to this one of zero. And I want to publish this plane as well. So go for tools publication. Yes, I want. And I will call this master plane. Master plane. Confirm. And it should be here. Yes, it is. Let's collapse this one. So it's here and I can use it right there. Now let's go for the ring gear. And of course I will need a sketch which is on that master plane. So this will be a circle. And I've already checked it. This should have a radius of, or a diameter of 40. This will not necessarily be the correct value for those teeth. But I only want to show you how to make it work, not I, want, I don't want to, to consider those uh, teeth at all. So that's okay. Go here and then publish this one as well. So go for Tools, Publication, Confirm. And this will be the Ring Gear Circle. Ring, Gear or Curve. Let's go for Curve. Okay, confirm, and so it will be available right here. Go back to your assembly, and this one should be more visible by making it with a different width. Okay, now let's go for the planet gear curve and maybe hide those here. Okay. And I will need to go inside that planet gear. And then I want to do a sketch on that master plane. So let's take a look. That's the one up here. Okay, go for a circle. And like this, and this curve here and that curve should be tangent. So this one here and that one should be tangent. Then give it a dimension, which should be 16.5 as far as I recall, yes. And now let's delete that tangency constraint. 
because otherwise it will be over constrained. That's okay. Leave that sketch. It should be selected and I want to publish it. So go for tools, go for publication. Yes, and call this one planetary or the planet gear curve one. Planet gear planet gear curve one and confirm close this and collapse this one and make that curve wider great now back to our assembly and then I need to bring in carrier 2 this one and I will need a sketch which cons controls this one here so I got a curve which controls that one here so this seems to be a little bit off somehow or I'm not really looking yeah that should be okay so let's go to that carrier here and make a sketch on the master plane of course and that will be a circle which should be yeah looks good yes and again control it first with a tangency constraint in order to get the dimension and this will be diameter of seven that's okay and again delete that tangency constraint then I'll leave that sketch and again I want to publish that sketch curve so go for tools where is it publication that would be this curve here now that's an edge so let's go for the sketch the sketch should be published yes and that's carrier zero two curve carrier zero two curve great collapse this make this visible and go here and again make that curve wider great next step bring in those planet gears so make them visible And there is already a curve in those planet gears and I will add another one. So again now go to those planet gear, make a sketch on the master plane of course, on this one. Let's take a look that's this one down below so let's go here and the dimer would dime it would be the same of course as with the other ones so you could just type in that 16.5 diameter no need to get to this dimension with a tangency it must be the same diameter so let's go here 
select it and make it public yes and that would be planet gear curve 2 Confirm. Collapse this. Expand this. Collapse that. Go back to your assembly. And this should have a wider curve as well. Great. Now you see all those curves sort of are on the same plane. Nice. So the last curve I need is the one in the sun gear. So let's bring in that sun gear again. Go inside that part and make a sketch on the master plane this will be another circle of course and it should be aligned with uh, the second gear planet gear curves the second one it doesn't really matter it will work anyway but so let's go for a tangency between that circle here which is quite hard to see and this should be tangent to planet gear curve 2 like this then give it a dimension and then delete it should be a diameter of 7, I suppose, because it's the same as the carrier one or two circles. So that would be the geometry. And that circle should have a dimension of 7 in diameter. Yes, let's delete that tangency constraint. And then, of course, publish it. Yes, and that would be the sun gear curve. Sun gear curve. Collapse this and make it wider. Great, so I've done all my preparations and let's move on to the third part. So, hope this was helpful, hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like, leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook fan page, would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching and see you to the last and third part of this series. Bye bye.